Welcome everyone to the Transformation Summit. Together we are wise women rising for embodied change. And let's face it, this is a time when things really need to shift and we are part of that. So coming together today is an amazing thing. Now, I am really excited because I'm talking with Binny Damsbury. Binny, um, you can read her full bio, it's underneath there. Okay, so do take a look at it because it gives you all the juicy stuff that she's been bringing to the world and she's sharing and it's really, really exciting. But just to briefly tell you a tiny bit about her, she is an inspiring and gifted teacher and breathwork therapist. And she's a counselor and a healer. And she's also the creator of Source Process and Breathwork, which is a program that she's extensively taken throughout Europe. And on top of that, the last thing that I want to say about her today is that she is really focused on the, the divine feminine and bringing that to more out into the world and, and working with women so that we can really embrace that. So a mass, massive welcome to you today, Binny. Thank you, Alison. And I just want, well, don't want to, I, I'm going to acknowledge you for the work that you do. Okay. I think it's exceedingly important the the focus of attention on transformation and embodiment, the embodiment of the goddess, the embodiment of the divine feminine. So I thank you so much for oh. doing what you do. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Well, I'm excited to be speaking, you know, inquiring with you about what you're bringing to the summit today, which is women and the art of receiving which is you know it's a delicious and very inviting topic and something that I'm really keen to explore because I know that um, you know you talk about embodiment and you talk about you know it's really an important thing that we need to address um, or we can address if we choose to. So let's dive in. And my first question really is, what is the art of receiving and why is it so important right now, especially to women? <clears throat> the art, I think any art, uh, any um, uh, way of life, any um, aspect is taken to the level of art when it is taken to the level of devotion and love. To receive is to give as one. So I'd like for you to imagine that you were birthed just imagine right this right this minute I just well whoa where is this coming from coming into the world through a yes and a deep deep massage your entire body eager to look into the eyes of the one and she takes you and brings you up and looks into your eyes and says, thank you for loving me so much. What if that was your first experience, looking into the eyes of love and being received as an expression of love? you would know yourself to be a gift and that gift is your love. So that person, and I know a few, <laughs> and I know that one can develop that relationship with oneself. So that the art of receiving is the art of receiving oneself and the gift that you are. And then stepping out into the world to give what you, because the truth is 
someone who is giving, giving, giving um, ends up resenting, resenting, resenting because there's a what about me in there. And I hear that with women. I've, I've not just women, but men, children, there's not enough for me. There's not enough support. There's not enough love. There's not enough booze. There's not, I mean, you know, the basis of all addiction, not enough. Mm -hmm. Not enough so, for me. That's it, isn't it? It's extremely important that that we acknowledge that there is a level that we can um, embrace, and that is a deep and devoted um, love of life. Mm -hmm. And acknowledgement that each of us is a gift of love. So it's not just me, if I, you know, if I allow myself that experience or I just allow myself to contemplate that and I deepen into that, then I see you as the gift you are and my children and my partner. So we, we, we are in an inside out process. We come into the world, we'll, we see what we've already looked inside and seen. So I'm inviting people to cultivate the art of receiving yourself in order to communicate that, that love, that gift. Yes. Wow, when you said, when you talked about imagine we come in with the, to a yes, we come into the, our, our physical bodies, into this earth, into the external of our, um, of the, our mother's womb, through a massage and a massive yes, and then love. I just felt what, you know, just, oh my goodness, it, took me back and I was thinking, is this what it was like for me? I have no idea. So how do we, so, that, you know, how do we know if that actually happened to us just as individuals in our own birth experience? How do we know? Well, um, do you think of yourself as a gift? Do you think of yourself as an embodiment of love? Great question. If not, you didn't have that experience. <laughs> oh, that's such a great question. Yes, and actually, be honest, you know, probably like many, many women here, it's like sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It's right. like you get glimpses of, oh, and then most of the time it's, it's not. Um, you know, we go back into that giving, 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 and um, not receiving, just putting ourselves absolutely last in the pile of who we're going to give to. Um, so, so I'm just curious. I mean, I know that it's important. It's what you're talking about is really so relevant to now because, you know, we're talking about in this summit about the, the inner work and also contributing to transformation um, around us in our world of whatever form that we're called to and a lot of that can just be about feeling that we've got to give 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 so so how do we understand this this um you know what I've just said about my own experience sometimes getting those glimpses of oh yes and then other times just no well, I think that we have to be, we live in a soup, you know, we're all connected. And of course, you know that uh, we talk about it all the time, but, and I think it's the truth. This is our story, not us and them. And, and, and we live in an us and them world. So it's very, it's very important to meditate, for instance. 
it's very important. I, well, I use breath work. I use the breath to bring me in, to help bring me home. But I breathe with intention. And the intent, I always am focused on, on a thought form, a mantra, a, um, <clears throat> then whatever is unlike that will come to the surface. So, um, you know, I am a gift. I am a gift of love is a wonderful, wonderful mantra to choose, for instance, for a day. Just keep letting that circulate, you know, let that be a, a track that's going on while you're doing whatever you're doing. But see what comes up see what appears that's such a wonderful idea to do a, uh, an invitation to do i am a gift of love i'm a gift of love wow so um i know that you talk about um how we can open to a deeper experience of safety and innocence and forgiveness so how do we do that how, how do we actually open to those and and why are those three things so important? Safety, innocence, and forgiveness. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think, um, okay, many, many years ago, I um, stepped into a tub of hot water with a man named Leonard Orr watching. I had a snorkel and nose clips. And I thought that because I was naked, the water was very hot and I had never used a snorkel and nose clips before. Uh, I thought that's why every cell in my body was shaking. Um, I very shortly went into the water, was breathing with the snorkel. Um, quickly deepened i mean went into a non-ordinary state that i do not I, I don't remember a period of time i was connecting my breath and there were witnesses <laughs> um the next thing i knew well actually i heard a scream the next thing i knew i was curled up outside this sunken tub and everyone said that I almost levitated, but I, I was curled up in her lap. And the important thing that I was sobbing, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. <clears throat> and by the, by the time I came to full consciousness, I realized that I was sobbing and, 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 literally asking the universe for forgiveness for the pain that my mother went through in my birth. Now, I also subsequently have realized that I also experienced a lot of pain. So I realized at that point, I was, I was a, a successful designer. <laughs> I had two sons that I was raising on my own. Um, I, it, you know, I was an upstanding citizen you know, doing my thing in New York City. Um, and um, I was shocked that there was a level of guilt that was running my life. That I didn't feel the least bit safe with my body. It wasn't how many locks on, I had on my door. And that's what I'm talking about, a, a deeper level of safety. We live in this world of power and struggle when the truth is we are living in a masterful sensor. Our bodies are just as sensitive as that deer that can sense a hunter coming from a mile away. If we didn't have this extra 
fear of the body, fear of the other happening. So when I speak about deeper levels of safety, I mean, again, safe with the body, safe with the breath. And the breath has taught me, the breath has led me to that level of safety. As simple as can be, because it's taken me to the understanding or the, the felt experience of many of these childhood dramas and traumas and birth traumas that are held in the limbic system, that are held in the body. And if we're safe enough and guided gently, we can re-experience those things and we can become intimate with this divine communications device <laughs> that we've given ourselves. I love that. I think. <laughs> I love it. Guilt stops the action, you know? It's like if we think, I mean, look at a newspaper, open a news program. Everything is about wrong. There's something wrong here. You know, this is wrong. That's It's all about wrong. Well, wrong is the basis of guilt, blame, and shame. Mm -hmm. And it stops the flow of energy. And you and I were just talking about this new year and a flow, the flow. Mm -hmm. Being in the flow is about forgiving oneself giving oneself the gift of remembering that that divine feminine that is right there in the center of your heart is wholly innocent. Pure light, not unculpable. Every one of us has stepped on a toe <laughs> or spoken out of turn. <laughs> I trust. <laughs> And innocence is, uh, is the key, you know, and forgiveness, forgiveness is the key to getting there. I think that's, that's just so powerful. I mean, when you spoke, uh, when you mentioned the word guilt, um, it just hit me again, you know, hit me and at such a deep level, something that myself personally i've never ever even thought of that we can carry guilt about causing our mother the pain of childbirth and yet when you said it oh my goodness it just made sense and i it's almost a cliche. I mean, you know, you hear that I spent 16 hours in labor to give birth to you, you know, <laughs> and why don't you call me every Sunday? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah, but you know, that, that, how you said it was so, it was so different and it was so like, well, we can, carry that guilt around we know that we feel guilty we feel guilty i just put it under christianity i thought oh it's christianity it's done that um but uh no we are deeply yeah. loving beings and we are deeply caring because we are one your pain is mine yeah yes and it's just simply the truth that it doesn't have to be the thing that runs my life in terms of, you know, you don't need to control me with guilt. I don't need to control myself by thinking, you know, I'm going to hurt somebody, you know, it's like, no, my intentions are pure. Yeah. And I have to say, I wrote um, 
When I met Leonard, I started learning about thought as creative. I hadn't, hadn't gotten into that. I'd studied philosophy and philosophy of art and blah, 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 and all this stuff. You know. Thought plus energy creates result in the physical universe. It's plant a seed, conception, gestation, give it energy, and birth. We have it. I mean, it's the creative process. Yeah. So when I had that experience and it was such a, I mean, it was such a profound felt experience that I, I couldn't get away from it. You know, it was like, there it was. Um, I started writing an affirmation and breathing as I wrote my, uh, I'm the innocent daughter of a gentle, gentle universe. I deserve to experience all of my love. I filled a little, one of these little Chinese brocade books. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're, you know, they have leather, leather corners. <laughs> and it was red. And I filled it. I literally filled every line in that little book with that affirmation. One day, I was on the 104 bus going uptown on Broadway in New York. <clears throat> and I was writing in my little book. And all of a sudden, my body started to shake. And tears started streaming out of my eyes. I'm on the bus in New York. <laughs> the light changed, Allison. Everything changed. And a very simple thought came. I'm a really good person. That was it. That was my enlightenment. <laughs> Was, and I call, I mean, because I've had a few of those experiences <laughs> over time. But that, and so, I, you know, I call them my little enlightenment moments. Um, <laughs> but it meant everything to me. Yeah. How oh, wonderful. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we're talking about the art of receiving, the art of receiving. And so there might be people watching this who are saying okay so I'm willing to receive you know I'm ready to move into this mm -hmm. but what do I receive how do I stop receiving things I don't want and find out what I do want to receive I think um interestingly enough um embracing oneself just as I've said beginning to contemplate, do that, do that process. I am a gift. I am a gift of love. Give yourself the, <clears throat> the time to be still with yourself. Now I have um, the thing that I'm giving away today is, um, is um, what I call the source meditation. And that is uh, an explanation about what I think happened and the decisions that we made when we were born. I encourage anybody who thinks that they're really ready for this to receive my gift and to use it, to listen to it. It's a beautiful meditation that will take you through what I call the archetypal affirmations. My body is safe, no matter how I might be feeling, coming home to you. I'm surrounded by love and support from all the divine beings in my life. It's the truth. Everybody around me wants me to be happy. I know this. 
it's safe to feel all of my feelings, all of the sensations in my body. I'm the one who chooses what to think about them. And as I choose what I think about the sensations in my body, that's the way I will experience it. I choose to remember that I am the innocent daughter of a gentle God, that I am an expression, an embodiment of love. I'm connected in love to all that lives. I am spirit manifest in beautiful form. If you can breathe in those truths about you, open to receiving yourself as that divine being, then that's what you take into the world. We don't, you know, we find out what our purpose is when we are still and accept ourselves as a gift. That gift will come. That gift is a natural extension. As I told you before, I was a sick, I, I, was a relatively successful designer in the in, in the in the fashion industry and um enjoying truly enjoying my career and one day a year into working with with the breath and um and remembering and healing my birth i looked up at the woman who was sitting with me while I was breathing in the water and I said, I have to take this process to pregnant women. And she said, oh, well, that's nice. How are you going to do that? I said, I have no idea. <laughs> Five years later, I met the couple who I worked with through their pregnancy and they had their, we, we co-created the first water birth in the United States. So, and that has everything I teach, everything I know, I've learned from birth and the breath. Mm. Mm. Just amazing. Wow. I don't think I've ever been so silent in an interview, I have to say, because I'm really just here, um, just connecting in and absorbing what you're sharing here. Um, and um, I feel a little bit lost for words, which is quite interesting. And yet it isn't. It's because I'm actually taking my energy and my focus into a different place within as you've been talking. So I expect other people are having that beginning experience as well. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like when we're talking about, you know, um, contributing to transformation out there in the world, whether it's uh, through our businesses or through healing work that we do or, or with a family or, you know, whoever it is. When we're talking about that sort of transformation, we think we have to rev up our energy and get out there and kind of start beating the drums or something like that, making a noise saying, hey, come on. Um, and actually, it can, we can go very, very, very still and yes, follow your invitation to actually connect in with this deep process, which then allows us to be out in the world in in a different way, in a, in a refreshing way, I want to say. Um, I don't want to su suggest we're different, different beings at all, but it just in, in a way that is um, something that I, I feel not able to, to put a word to 
having not really gone through the process and experienced it. But I'm sure it will be very different from, you know, that normal, got to get out there kind of energy. So, yeah. I want you to know that most of what I've shared today, I've only shared in my training groups. And I, I mean, I thank you for the quality of your listening. It's a, it's a, it's a very real pleasure to be with you, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have, so let's just um, make sure that um, people know, you know, how they can develop this further or explore it further with you. So you've got this wonderful free gift and the, the link everybody is below mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. um, and there's another, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm suggesting, if you will, it's for sale on my website, um, called for forgiveness, the key to happiness. And, uh, it's a very special process for giving that, um, well, thousands and thousands have benefited from and and I know that it's also helpful in this whole process of going in to come out with your full authentic self which is what everyone wants you know it's we don't have to beat drums I mean I you know perhaps once you've you know, once you've noticed what you want to tell people, somebody might beat a drum to get people's attention, but you don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, like you say, I love that word, I'd forgotten it just momentarily, being our authentic selves. And that authenticity is, is from a place of this loving, a connection and acknowledging that we are a gift of love. How amazing, how amazing is that? Everyone, the link to the second item as well that um, Binny has just been talking about, it's below. So you know if you, this is speaking to you um, and now's your opportunity to actually, you know, go there and- Well, and there are many, um, um... I have a lot of videos on my website. There's, there's a lot of, it's, I'm very open source. There's, and get in touch with me. I'm, I'm open also. <laughs> well, Vinny, this has been just so beautiful. Um, I really want to thank you for coming and introducing us to this, um, the power of this, this really deep level power of this. But there's also, I love the energy that you bring because you, you know, you're talking about something that is so profound and yet you bring such a lightness as well to it. So, you know, thank you so much for that and, and all that you're, you're sharing in the summit. Thank you. Thank you. It's a very real pleasure to be with you. And everyone listening as well, thank you for joining us today. Um, as usual, you know, I have a little request to make to you. If you feel like it, you know, we really do love to know how this is reaching you, how it's touching you, if it's touching you, you know, what happens when, when you've been listening to the conversation that we've had and what Ben has been sharing. Um, if you want to share it, just respond to any of the summit emails and say that you know it's in relation to Binny's interview and anything that you share with me I will pass on to her as well so she gets that information because you know we need this the circulation the flow to go around we don't we don't we don't want separation we want connection and just we really love to hear from you so if you're feeling called to do that we welcome your emails um, that said, don't forget the links below everyone and, and just leaves me to say, you know, another massive heartfelt thank you to you, Binny. Thank you so much. Thank you.